Hello, and welcome to the Cool Christian Podcast, the number one Christian podcast ever. You see, here at the Cool Christian Podcast, we bring you topics and conversations that your church probably shies away from. We like to say that our conversations meet at the intersection of life and godliness. So, that means if it affects us, we talk about it. If it benefits us, we talk about it. If it ministers to us, we talk about it. So join us on this adventure as we learn and grow in Christ and make being a Christian cool again. Thanks for joining. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share with your friends and loved ones. Bye-bye. Hi guys, and welcome to today's episode of the Cool Christian Podcast. My name is Dua, and I am your humble host, and I'm so glad that you are here with us today. On today's episode, we are talking about when mercy speaks. What does it look like when mercy speaks? What does it mean when mercy speaks? Well, first, let's start off by defining mercy. According to the dictionary on Google, mercy is compassion or forgiveness shown towards someone whom it is within one's power to punish or harm. Another one says, mercy is benevolence, forgiveness, and kindness in a variety of ethical, religious, social and legal contexts. In the social and legal context, mercy may refer both to compassionate behavior on the part of those in power or on the part of a humanitarian third party. So, mercy is compassion. Mercy is kindness. Mercy is love. Mercy is forgiveness. Mercy is a lot of things but one thing I know for sure that mercy is is God you see the God that I serve is a merciful God God's mercy gives us more than one truly deserves and it also spares us from what we may actually truly deserve. You see, mercy is when God stoops low. As a superior being that he is, he stoops low and comes down to our level to serve us that are inferior to him. Mercy is when God sets aside judgment to let his love for us prevail. Mercy is when our failures don't count as new chapters of favor are opened. What does this mean? It means that many a times we have put ourselves in situations, in crisis, and yet God's hand of mercy has delivered us from these situations. You see, mercy may not always be fun. Mercy may come with a little bit of pain, with a little bit of tears, with a little bit of sadness, anxiety. However, we are supposed to recognize that it is mercy. What do I mean by this? God might be showing some of you mercy by breaking a relationship that you're currently in. But you don't see it as mercy. You see it as pain. You see it as, oh, men are scum. Oh, women are whatever. Meanwhile, God is exposing the person you are with 
so that he could free you from bondage so that he could free you from a lifetime of pain and suffering that's mercy but how many of us know when mercy hits us in the face so when we speak of divine mercy speaking for us we often refer to instances where we experience compassion forgiveness and grace in situations where we may not necessarily deserve it so on that note I want to show you seven instances or seven ways in which mercy can speak for us number one is forgiveness mercy speaks for us when we are forgiven for our mistakes and shortcomings allowing us to move forward without the burden of guilt or condemnation so the first time we really see god's mercy in our life is when we give our life to christ when we surrender to christ when we ask him for forgiveness of sins and that's all we need to do for him to forgive us for our sins right you don't have to pay for it you don't have to to go kill a cow or 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 a ram or you don't have to go wash yourself in the sea or do anything to deserve that forgiveness so also with human relationships when a person forgives you when you have erred against them we need to be grateful we need to see it as mercy it's kind of like someone committing a crime and the judge says you know what I'm not going to sentence you to 10 years in jail I'm just going to give you 5 years of probation and you have to serve the time without going to prison as long as you're doing your probation that's mercy you see that's mercy when a judge pardons you for something you have done or somebody a friend a family a loved one pardons you for something you did to them that hurt them but they forgive you and they let you let it go just like when Christ forgave us and continues to forgive us even when we fall short of his glory so one way we can see mercy is through forgiveness another way that mercy can speak for us is through second chances it manifests in opportunities for redemption and second chances offering us the possibility to rectify our wrongs and make amends not everybody gives you a second chance but when you're given a second chance that is mercy when God gives you a second chance in a relationship that is his mercy many of you don't know that you might be going through a heartache or a breakup right now but that is God giving you another chance for a do-over that is his mercy though it comes with the tears though it comes with the pain though it comes with the heartache or heartbreak it is mercy we need to be to rec- we need to be able to recognize mercy when we see it second chances don't come that often it's kind of like when you take a certification exam and you fail the first time and they say you can take it three times or you have to take the course all over again I've been through that some of us have been through that those two extra chances you have are mercy chances those second chances are mercy chances that is mercy speaking up for you so i want you to pause for a second and think of your life and think of 
times when you've had a second chance to do something. This past month, a couple of weeks ago, we've seen people celebrating Match Day. So Match Day is when doctors match into their residency programs. So I kind of went through TikTok and ended up on Match TikTok, basically, where people were celebrating Match Days. And I heard this girl crying and celebrating her matching this year because last year she didn't get to match but she got a second chance to do it again and this year she finally matched mercy gives second chances another way that God's mercy can speak for us is through protection you see mercy speaks for us by shielding us from the full consequences of our actions or the harm that could befall us even when we may have put ourselves in risky situations. I can tell you a lot about this. (laughs) God's hand of mercy has been on my life for a long time. Man, I used to take so much risks when I was younger. I remember when I went to university for the first time. I was 16 years old. I was so young. I didn't have a car. I didn't know how to drive. And I would literally stand on the road. I would go grocery shopping, walk to the grocery store, buy a whole bunch of groceries. And then I would literally be unable to carry the groceries back home. And I would stand on the side of the road with my groceries and hitchhike, basically. I will literally flag down random cars that are not taxis, that are not anyone that I know. I would just beg for a ride and I will enter people's cars that I didn't know and they will take me to school. And in those times when when I was doing those things, I never thought that I was putting myself at risk. But when I look at it right now, I'm like, whoa. What I was doing was risky with the amount of sex trafficking and, you know, that is going on, kidnappings, disappearances that are happening. And I literally was just entering cars with strangers without one ounce of fear. That was God's mercy over my life. That was God's protection over my life. Is it when I went to Mexico for the first time and I got on a jet ski in the middle of the ocean? Like, who does that? I can't even swim, guys. I have taken crazy risks in my life. And yet, God has kept me. I remember when I was like 14 years old, we used to go to Wisconsin on family vacations. And one day, we were going down to the lake because our family in Wisconsin had a boat and we would take the boat on the lake in the summer and to get down to the lake where the boat is is a very steep hill and I remember my grandpa said let's ride our bikes he would drive the jeep and we would ride our bikes behind him myself and my brothers and I remember going down that hill on my bike I had to be going 100 miles per hour because, like, I literally was not pedaling. I was just rolling down the hill on the bike. I was going so fast. I panicked and slammed on my two brakes to stop. And I somersaulted, flipped, tumbled, rolled down that hill. And I got up without a broken bone. However, I was bruised up, man. I had a bruise on my forehead. I still have the scar to today. I had a bruise on my arm. I still have the scar. I was bruised up. But I promise you when I was falling, tumbling, rolling, somersaulting down that hill, I felt like I was going to break something. Or I felt I had already broken something. But God's mercy protected me. I got up without a broken bone. But with a lot of scars. And those scars remind me of his mercy. 
Number four, God's mercy can speak for us through comfort. In times of distress or sorrow, mercy speaks for us by providing comfort, solace, and reassurance, helping to alleviate our pain and suffering. Have you ever been through a heartbreak? Oh my God. I've been through one. I've been through several. But most recently, I've been through a heartbreak. And there were days where I just couldn't get out of bed. And there were days where I would just cry out unto God. And I would feel his arms wrapped around me. I would feel comfort. I would feel peace. That is his mercy. What about in the time of sickness? 2021, a few days after my birthday, I fell sick. I was rushed to the emergency room. I was admitted. I remember being taken to the floor where I was admitted. And that's all I remember. I woke up seven days later in the ICU. I don't know where I was. Even the doctors couldn't tell me what happened to me. All they said was that I was in an altered state of mind. I see that I was probably in the where you would call the valley of the shadow of death. I wasn't seen, I wasn't hearing, I wasn't talking, I wasn't speaking, but I was breathing, but I wasn't able to communicate. And I remember waking up on that seventh day, seeing myself strapped to the bed with machines all over me in the ICU, not knowing what had happened to me seen my mom crying out mommy why haven't I seen you for one week you didn't come to see me I'm literally crying to my mom that she didn't come and see me and my mom is like I've been here every day I've been talking to you every day praying for you every day calling people to pray for you I've been here you were not here I was talking to you you weren't responding until this day whenever I think about 2021 I weep. I say, God, thank you for having mercy on me. Thank you for bringing me out of that. So there are times when we go through pain and suffering. And God's mercy speaks for us through his comfort. Number five. Mercy speaks for us through guidance. Mercy guides us along the right path. Gently nudging us towards making better choices and leading a more virtuous life. Sometimes you don't know that it's mercy. It's mercy that made you not to take that job that you really loved and take the other one. It's mercy that made you miss your bus so that you wouldn't end up in in a bus crash with the other people. It's mercy that kept some people from getting to the World Trade Center on 9-11. Mercy guides us. It may not look right. It may not seem right. But you need to recognize that it's mercy. Number six, mercy speaks for us through generosity. It speaks for us through the acts of generosity and kindness shown by others, reminding us of the inherent goodness that exists in God and in humanity. So you might be in need, and you don't know where your next meal is coming from. And someone meets you on the road and says, God told me to give you this. I'll share this story. 2012 I really wanted to go to school of worship Bethel school of worship and I didn't have the money to go and mercy led me to church on Easter Sun Easter Friday and this old man that loves me loves whenever I lead praise and worship would always say oh my god you you blessed me 
walks up to me to say hello to me and I told him I'm doing well you know just the pleasantries and mercy nudged me to tell him that I am raising funds to go to Bethel School of Worship I didn't ask him for help I just told him that that's what I was doing that's where I was and I was excited to go to School of Worship well that was Easter Friday Easter Sunday I see this man walking up to me with an envelope hands it to me in the middle of service and I start to look into the envelope and I see one zero zero and I was excited that wow this guy just gave me a hundred dollars only for me to go home open the envelope and I saw a thousand dollars that was the money I needed to book my flights to get to school of worship and to pay my fees mercy spoke for me in that generosity of a man come on mercy is beautiful number seven mercy can speak for you through healing mercy speaks for us through the healing of wounds whether they be physical emotional or spiritual restoring us to wholeness and vitality I already shared my testimony from 2021. Mercy brought me back to life. Mercy didn't leave me without my memory. Things like that have happened to people and they can't remember themselves anymore. Mercy healed me from a heartbreak, from pain, from a breakup. So mercy manifests itself through healing. I'm saying all of this and I'm sharing this with you all to be able to recognize the mercy of God in your life and to be able to recognize when mercy is speaking and standing for you. These manifestations of mercy serves as a reminder of the unconditional love and compassion that God has for us. Let's not take it for granted. Like I said, it may not be sweet, it may not be rosy, but it's mercy. It might be sweet, it might be rosy, it's still mercy. Friends, I pray for you That in those areas where you are unable to turn the tide by yourself, may mercy speak for you. May God's mercy speak for you concerning the battles that are raging against you. May the mercies of God speak for you concerning the conspiracies of those that are against you. May the mercies of God speak concerning your health challenges. May the mercies of God speak concerning your future. As you run the race of your next level, may mercy speak for you. As you face adversaries that are stronger than you, let mercy speak for you blind Bartimaeus cried out to God Jesus son of David have mercy on me the lepers the ten lepers when they saw Jesus they lifted up their voices and asked him to have mercy on them they could not change their situation so they called out for mercy if you're stuck between a rock and a hard place right now call out for mercy there's a prayer that I love to pray and it's simply God have mercy on me have mercy on my family have mercy on my loved ones pray this prayer and let the mercy of God overshadow you I hope you've enjoyed this episode 
join us next time here at the cool christian podcast god bless you thank you for listening to the cool christian podcast if you enjoyed this episode please leave us a comment a question like subscribe and share with your family friends and loved ones we hope to see you back next time have a great day and god bless